Uni Prof. Dr. Agata Ciabattoni, Technische Universität Wien, Institute for Computersprachen, Informatik. Uh, I'm from Italy. And when I have to talk indeed about my work, I prefer to use English. And I prefer English even to my native language. <music> to explain what non-classical logic are, let's make a small step backward. Logic was introduced, introduced in the context of philosophy and mathematics, and there the logic was classical logic, that is a logic in which objects are either true or false, they are either one or zero, black or white, tertium non datur. But in many applications, and in particular in computer science, are very important non-classical logics, that are logics in which objects are not simply just true or false, but for instance they, they might have various degrees of true. This can be, just to give you a simple idea, could be important if you want to formalize medical reasoning. It's, it's like doing mathematical theorems but with some application in mind. And the application that you have in mind is that there are many possible systems in the world that need to be, for instance, verified or formalized. And if you have a pool of different languages, non-classical logics, you can do that. But to apply those logics to those applications, you first need to investigate their mathematical theorems. And that's what I do and what I like. In fact, I didn't know. And I did, I mean, I didn't know at the beginning. And I did study to become a teacher at elementary school in my gymnasium. But then my favorite subject in school was mathematics and I decided to study mathematics and when I start looking at the various faculties I discovered computer science I thought wow that's interesting there is enough, enough mathematics in there plus other things and I just tried and I like it very much so it was like oh really love. <laughs> I think that special measures for in early stages of career are good. Special measures for women, like women only position or special quota. But for later stage, I mean, once you are, say, a, an established researcher, competing for a only women position is even not really rewarding. I mean, I, I think that we are as competitive as men and as good as men, sometimes even better. Yes, I was just in Mutterschutz and I managed to do that because I was working at home with a babysitter, so I was breastfeeding and the babysitting was, babysitter was entertaining my child in between the meals and I could just have both the family, staying with my child, but also work. I was just working from home. But first of all, I would like to transmit my love for research. And then also to tell them, also with my example, that it's possible, I mean, it's hard, but it's really possible to reconcile a scientific career with a family and also with a private life. So. They, they can do that. <laughs> Working hard, everything is possible. Yes, that's a message. <laughs>